Ahoy, Captains! It's Vaz again with another video from... This isn't World of Warships Legends, is it? This is some watered-down version. Well, yeah, that's right. We're taking a look at the early access version of World of Warships Legends on mobile. As we go along in today's video, we're going to show you some gameplay, the menus, and talk a little bit about why adding this mobile version is a big step in the wrong direction. And then we're going to pose the question, what do we do about it? Now this first clip here is just uh, me loading up the game once I got my account synced. But unfortunately, as you'll see here, I was forced to play a match on a dummy account first. You know, supposedly they say when you install the game, you can back out and link your account before being forced to play that first match. But uh, I wasn't given that option. I'm playing this on Android. It's an LG uh, G7. I think that's one of the latest LG phones, even though it is a couple of years old for me. So it's not really anything special. And uh, another note here is that the first match I'm going to show you is while I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, while the second match is going to be uh, using my uh, 5G wireless network. Now take a look here at this freaking loading times. Like, holy smokes, it's already been almost a minute. And all we're doing is loading into an AI match. But maybe it's a good thing it takes forever because on the screen is the tutorial for the game. It shows you how to move, and it shows you how to shoot. That's it. That's your tutorial. What a joke. Now when we start the game, it's going to go over all of it again. Those two things. But it doesn't tell you what you got to do. It doesn't tell you anything about the capture points, what they mean, what the points mean. It's just absolutely wild to me that they just assume that everybody already knows how to play. But yeah, here we are in the match now. We're in the Tier 1 Albany. And it told us about the movement controls again. And it told us about uh, acceleration. And then it's going to tell us about shooting. And yeah, for the most part, the controls do work in the game. But uh, as you can see, even with the, the best Wi-Fi connection that I could muster, that um, things are kind of choppy. The frame rate is not good. I really love that part of the tutorial that says, the number of sectors on a central circle represents the number of aimed guns. Like, what the hell does it, even any of that mean? The orange circles represent available guns on the other side of the ship. Well, how many ships have guns on both sides of the ship? Like, come on. The, oh, the tier 1s and maybe the tier 2s. Like, get out of here. What useless information. And so here you go. Something a little more useful. Telling us to aim and shoot. Duh. It does say that the target rectangle will lock onto an enemy, but I did not experience that. Just like in the console version, the auto-aim is completely broken. Every time I zoomed in, I had to manually align the uh, aim. So I don't know what they're talking about. Speaking of the main game and the controls, the controls do work okay, but uh, your inputs will go unrecognized just as much as they do in the console game, if not more. Another thing uh, I bet you guys have noticed is that it's only 5 versus 5 in this match. Now, th this is just a guess, but I'm guessing it's because I only downloaded the limited client, and that's because of storage space. The limited client took up about 1.3 gigs. I guess that's not too bad. But it barely unlocks anything, and we'll go over that uh, once we uh, get into the menus and such later on. But if you want to download the full client of Legends Mobile, it's going to take up a further 9 gigabytes of storage space, making this game over 10 gigs. I don't know about you guys, but after a couple of years of having my phone, I do not have that kind of storage space. And I'm not going to go in there and delete a whole bunch of stuff, just so I can have less fun playing a console game on my phone. Like, why would I want to do that? I'm an adult. When I want to play a console game, I turn on my console and I play it. And so that brings up my first question is who is this game actually for? And who plays mobile games the most? Who is the target audience for mobile games in general? Well, that's kids. They don't have their own TV. They don't have access to their TV at all times. And so maybe their friends are playing online and their dad or their sister is using the TV and they can't get on. So hey, they always have access to their phone and they can jump on their phone and then jump into Legends and uh, disconnect and all that good stuff. And so I do get it from that standpoint. But then it does beg the question is, what about World of Warships Legends Blitz? You know, I can't say why they decided they needed this version. And yes, I say they, not us, like they proclaim. But I have to say it doesn't make sense because they already have the mobile version of World of Warships called Blitz. Now, I'll disclaimer, I've never played Blitz, so I don't know how it is. Maybe you guys who have played it uh, can let me know in the comments. But it must be a piece of shit, right? For them to abandon it like this? 
They say it's going to continue, but uh, they also say it's going to continue for now, in quotes. Now that's business speak for its days are numbered, but still, you know, for now, spend monies. Hey, hey, look at that. Was that our first sinking? We actually shot some guys. And well, as for the match in the background, we're going to speed that up just because, you know, nothing's happening. We don't want to drag out this video any longer than we need to. That's why we got that little watermark down in the bottom right corner there. It allowed us to edit this video down and make it more compact for you guys. Let's talk about uh, the internet connection and all that good stuff now. Now I looked up some other gameplay posted online and I did find one video where a guy had a solid internet connection and it ran a bit smoother than uh, this first match of mine. But then I found another match where it uh, was quite a bit worse. It looked more like the second match I'm going to show you. Very laggy and very choppy. And you know, I just don't see how this could be enjoyable for anybody when the, the controls are not that good, the visuals are not good, and there's a far superior version already out there. You know, I thought long and hard about what I wanted people to take away from this video because I didn't want it to just be 15 minutes of me being negative about an upcoming change to the game. And I think because with most changes, we don't get a chance to think about them before we get a chance to try them. Most of us want to give the devs the benefit of the doubt and at least see how things are implemented before we pass judgment. But when a few of us get to preview such a big change, I felt that it was important to get the word out and have our voices heard early, because this change sucks. Adding a mobile version of this game just sucks. We're going to be forced to play with these people and deal with their disconnects and their laggy gameplay, and it's going to cause frustration for the rest of us to no end. Hey, an app where we can manage our ships, look at the bureau, spend money in the store to keep Ouija happy. Sure, I am all for that. But shoehorning on a console game into mobile isn't working and will never work fluidly. Our society just isn't there yet when it comes to the technology. Alright, so let's put a pin in the argument for a second. And uh, talk about what's happening on the screen now. We finished up our Albany match. We leveled up. Look at all the results screen and all that good stuff. Now finally I was able to back out. You see then the top left corner there reverses AI. There was a back button. And I went to the settings screen and I linked my accounts. So that's what you saw at the very beginning of the video. I only had to log in eight times for it to sync. I don't know why it took four times for it to freaking recognize my login. But then it said, do you want to like delete everything? And I was like, no, don't delete anything, you son of a bitch. And so I pressed no, and then I had to do everything four more times. So getting everything synced is not easy. It is a pain in the ass. Alright, so here we are in the menus. We're looking at uh, Jewy, one of our commanders. We can't do jack shit with him. We can change our commander skills. That's about it. You can't do anything else. Again, because we're using the limited client, and we only have uh, Tier 1 and Tier 2 ships available to us to use, and we can only use those in AI matches can look at things like our flags and our boosters and all that good stuff but um, yeah that's really about it oh and then hey look if you want to download the full client there you go another 8.59 gigabytes so uh, delete all the pictures and videos of your family and friends because uh, this game is much more important than those things and look how annoying this is all our commanders are locked all we can look at is uh, the base commanders uh, from each nation and you know the other funny thing, and yeah, you can't change the skills on these base commanders, but you can't change the legendary skill, like what the hell. And you can't change the inspirations. I don't even know if you could level them up or not. I mean, this is like completely useless. I suppose it, it kind of acts as like a demo maybe, if you're just uh, looking to uh, see how the game uh, sucks so bad, you just want to confirm it. But other than that, I'm just going to walk over to my console and turn that on and uh, have a much better experience. So anyways, here we go. We're going to start up our second match. And now this match is not using my Wi-Fi. This match, uh, TMI, was while I was on the can. And so it wasn't very close to my router. And uh, that means that uh, I was going off of my uh, data. And so just imagine any old kid here, he's on the train, he's on the bus, uh, going home from school or something. Um, no, because who else is going to play this stuff? Hey, maybe some uh, some suit, some commuter guy who just, uh, you know, was uh, trading some stocks on Wall Street or something. Maybe he's playing this on the way home. Who knows? 
he's in his limo and Jesus driving or something, you know? But let's just imagine that for a second. Somebody's playing this and they don't have a good wireless source. Look how choppy this is. Ugh, I can't even think about it anymore. There I am uh, playing around with the uh, comms wheel. What good that is. But at least it's working. Just trying to get a feel for all the buttons. You actually bring up the info screen by tapping the mini-map. That's the one thing about this whole mobile experience that I thought was neat. We're gonna counter this uh, Prorong, the uh, Tier 2 Pan-Asian Destroyer. And hey, we're in the Wix. This is the Tier 2 American Destroyer. Anyways, uh, during this engagement, we're just messing around, really. And I'm actually gonna turn the sound on during this engagement. I'll give you a warning for when I'm gonna do it, because you're gonna want to turn the volume down a little bit. I'll try and lower it a little bit in post but it is just absolutely brutal. And you'll really get a good sense of how choppy the gameplay is. But first, we're gonna see what it's like to swap to our torpedoes and launch a couple of those. It's good to see some things never change. We are uh, up against a god-tier AI. Look how this little bastard can dodge our torps. That is absolutely amazing. They basically just programmed it so you're not allowed to hit an AI destroyer with torps. Anyways, fair warning. Here comes about a minute of the gameplay with the sound turned on. Enjoy! Okay, good god, that's all I can stand of that. Engine boost deactivated. Jesus, man, like, you can really see how bad it is. If the game is gonna be this laggy, then it shouldn't even be allowed to be released. Because you know this is how people are gonna play. Let's face it, the majority of mobile players for this game are gonna be kids, and kids don't have the self-control to not play if their connection isn't good. Jesus, as soon as we don't need a torp hit on this frickin' Pruorong, then he runs straight into one of our torpedoes, so like sometimes I don't even understand the AI. But yeah, we're gonna see a whole new edition of bad play that we haven't seen before. And so now the big question, what the hell do we do about it? Is there anything we can do about it? Like, this is coming, we know that we won't be able to nix it outright. But the way I see it is that this is our game. This game belongs to the players. I know we don't own it, but without us there is no game. Like season ticket holders to a sports team. If we're making ongoing payments to enjoy this form of entertainment, and some of us are, then shouldn't we have a say in some of the decisions management makes? The only thing I can think of that they uh, at the very least could give us is the ability to turn crossplay with mobile off. Let the mobile players all disconnect from each other and leave us out of the debauchery. And yes, yes, I know, I keep saying disconnect. I'm exaggerating just a little bit. Not everyone's gonna disconnect. But look how choppy those two matches were that I had versus AI. I was not playing with or against real players. Now just you wait until you have up to 18 players all with bad internet connections. All playing the mobile version, no lagging like crazy. Like yes I'm sure things will uh, be okay sometimes, but I already see tons of people complaining about AFK players and disconnected players. In fact some people make it out to be a huge problem saying that there should be way harsher penalties for AFK players. So the animosity within the community is already there. And this is just going to pour gasoline all over that fire. Well, so what do you guys think? I really would love someone down in the comments to play Devil's Advocate for me. Tell me there's something good about this mobile version. Because right now, I am not on the fence. I am very strongly against this. You know, instead of this mobile bullshit, they could have been working on clans, they could have been working on training rooms. They could have been working on non-monetized things for us. But sadly, with the free-to-play game, that's just not the MO. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Go ahead and check out my other videos. And as
as always, take care of yourself and do what makes you happy.